Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. In this video, recorded earlier this spring, Dave stops by the shack and shows us how to build a Morse code key out of one of these. So please stay tuned for the $1 key project. Michael KB9 DVR and your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. And today I'm with Dave White, KZ9V. He offered to stop by the uh, shack today and uh, share a few projects that he's been working on. So Dave, yep. thanks for coming by. Yep. And uh, what have you got to show me today? Well, <clears throat> we're gonna uh, talk about paddle keys today. All right. And uh, first let me give you a little bit of history. I like you am what I call a, an old timer where we took the test at the FCC office and probably ruined our shirt in the process of, you know, with the stress, the guys that uh, don't have to do code, they don't know how lucky they are. But <clears throat> when I walked out of the FCC office back in 1975, I was happily holding my general license and figured that was the end of my CW career. Okay. So 40 years later, along comes Parks on the Air. Mm -hmm. And we're out in the park and, and uh, most of it's single sideband, but I'm seeing a lot of guys on Facebook that are using CW. And very successfully, because of several reasons, but one is that with low power, the CW is, is really effective. So I'm like, okay, I used to know CW, how hard can that be? So I get out my straight key, I hook it up, and it's like dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, okay. So the decoding was pretty good, yep. but the sending was bad. I mean, <laughs> beyond bad. The, the hand coordination with the brain and the timing was pathetic. So I thought, I've never used a paddle. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Because most of the radios these days have a built-in keyer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I go out and I buy this $20 high-tech uh, plastic paddle. It's got two, it's two paddles. So if you're familiar with, with how the paddle keying work, with a two paddle key, one is the dots and one is the dash. So you hold it, hold it down and it just like machine gun fires dots or dashes. But the beauty is they are exactly the right length and they're at a very consistent speed, much better than you could do with, with your hand in a straight key. Okay, so I get this guy and I know nothing about iambic keying. I don't know if you've ever used a two paddle key. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with iambic. Yeah. Okay. I knew nothing, so I was a <laughs> novice. And I started, and I practice, and it's, I find out there are two styles of iambic. Iambic A and iambic B. Okay. We won't go into that right now, but they are different. So I self-taught myself iambic A, because that's what my little uh, G90 radio has. Yeah. And the FT891 has both. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put it whichever you want. So everything's good until I do hook it up to my uh, IC7300, my main rig in, in, the, in the shack, because I wanted to hunt some POTA instead of activating. So I hook it up, and I and I, first thing I realize is that the IC7300 only has iambic B. No kidding. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> What I had to do was say, okay, I want to, I want to use this two paddle key as a one paddle key, where you can only send dots or you only send dash, and it and it kind of works, but sooner or later you're going to find yourself squeezing them both together, which is a, a you know common practice in iambic, and and then letting letting go, and the difference between A and B is what happens. When you let go, mm -hmm. okay. In A, it's pretty straightforward. It just stops. In B, it says, "Hey, I think he wanted to send another dot." No, I didn't. <laughs> well, yeah. So there you go. So this wasn't going to work. So I thought my only way of functioning with the seventy three hundred is to use a single paddle key, which I don't own because I spent all my money on something like this. You know this. This my Vibroplex, uh, I think they call this a racer. Yeah. It's a wonderful key. It's got the two paddles, got it all adjusted up. Sounds wonderful. But my 7300, no good. So 
back to the drawing board. I didn't want to spend another $150 because keys are just outrageous. The, the nice ones are, yeah. They're yeah. ridiculous. Unless you can find a deal at a ham fest. It's... Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep, an estate sale or something yep, like yep. that. Yeah, perfect. Well, <clears throat> so being the MacGyver type thing that I am in cheapskate, uh, uh, you know, I'm thinking I can make a single key. I've seen like on the internet or or uh, some YouTube videos where guys would take like a hacksaw blade and they would try to rig it up because basically what it is, it's two contacts and you have to make a contact on one side for uh, dashes and one side for dots. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. So what I did was uh, I went over to my local grocery store where I buy all my radio supplies and I, I bought a nail file and this is the one that, that I used. And you can see it's about uh, seven inches long. Yeah. And I thought, I thought what I'll do is it's got this wonderful plastic handle on the end already there. So all I have to do is somehow uh, wedge this thing into some kind of a fixture and then I can go back and forth and make dots and dashes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a photo of the prototype uh, that I designed because everything starts with a uh, piece of wood and a bunch mm -hmm. of screws. And you can see on the photo that it's basically scrap wood, a couple of screws, and that nail file you see, you see sticking out with the purple end on it. And all you do is move the handle back and forth. But the, the trick was to get the right tension on that nail file. Because when you let go of the nail file, it has to be in the middle of those two contacts. Yeah. And, and, it, and it has to get there quickly and easily and consistently. So the only real trick was to figure out how far away from the, the holding point of that file you needed the contacts to be located in it. So I used that, as you can see in the picture, a couple blocks of wood and, and kind of got the dimensions figured out. Mm -hmm. Okay, after, after some success, I thought, okay, let's try and make something that looks decent and, and really works. So, I think there's a photo of this, and, you can, and uh, Michael will get a close-up of it. But this is the finished product, and uh, you can see it's got the plastic handle. I'm going to take these two little guys off. And That's just... Uh give yourself a little bit of comfort. It is, it is. The, the, uh, the, the nail file is in here and you, and you can see it's only about this long. So if I hold this up next to it, obviously I cut the, the far end of the file off and then I drilled a hole in here and, and there's a, you can see a screw comes in from the right side and that's the contact to the file itself. So the file is, is the common and then the dots and the dashes are the, these two screws, one on the left, one on the right. And you can adjust those screws by turning them in or turning them out so that you get the distance between the, the contacts and, and the handle. And uh, some people like a big gap, some like really tight. I, mine is set, set pretty tight. And uh, it works amazingly well because uh, it's got just the right tension on there so that I can comfortably go back and forth, and back and forth. So I don't have to worry about that iambic problem because mm -hmm. you, you're you never going to have dots and dashes squeezed at the same time because you only got one paddle. Yeah. Right. So um, now this looks pretty cool because this is on a piece of ceramic tile and I conveniently have a box of scrap ceramic tile. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everyone? Yeah. Uh, from a bathroom project that I overbought on, but... But the tile is nice because it's got a little bit of of a, a weight. heft and yeah, weight to it. Yeah, it's not so, going to slide around. Yeah, because when you're doing this one-handed, uh, you don't you don't want the things the thing moving around. Mm -hmm. And then I I really glitzed it up by putting some rubber feet. Oh, on look at the, that! The bottom. You just glued those on. Yeah. With epoxy. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So that that keeps it stable, and then to actually assemble the little pieces, they look metallic. Okay, on the yeah. camera, they look they probably look like, like brushed aluminum or something like that. But if you look really close, you can actually see the wood grain because it's just four little pieces of pine. 
And that doesn't cause a problem with um, making electrical contact no, or anything like that? No, because the wood is an insulator. Yeah. And, and, that's and not, so is the paint. The paint. It's, the, it's not metallic paint. Not, not, not metallic enough to no, actually... No, it's, it's glossy, though, so it yeah. looks really shiny. It looks, it looks amazingly good for something that I would have built, but... Uh, yeah, and then the cord. This is this is real high tech too. This is good old fashioned telephone cord. Yep. You know, it's just uh, it's got four conductors in there, but you only need three. You know, yep. You only need three, and then yep, for the two contacts and then the ground. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, you need whatever kind of a jack your uh, your radio wants. And my uh, G ninety likes that three point five millimeter. Yep. I think the uh, 891 does too. Just about, yeah. Yeah, the 891 does. The um, the 7300 actually has a, a quarter inch. Quarter inch. Jack. Yep, and that's the same with my FT3000. <coughs> the keys are all both quarter inch phono plugs. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, so this this solved my problem. So now uh, my IC7300 in my shack, when I'm using that, my $150 key sits there and says, boy, you wasted a lot of money on me, didn't you? Because I'm, I'm using this guy all day long. And so everything is everything is um, scrap box parts. Scrap. And you have, what, what do you have, 99 yeah. cents? This was 99 cents. And after the success of building this, because I'm going to leave these parts with you to make your own later, <laughs> I discovered that they also have a smaller version, okay? So... This one was seventy nine cents, uh, twenty cents so savings. We can, even get, we can yeah. even get cheaper. Because I'm thinking, when you build yours, um, you can use whichever file you want. But it, but since we're going to cut the end of it off anyway, uh, and and this handle actually sticks out a little further than it really needs to. Mm -hmm. I think I, if I had to do, do over again, I, I would use the, use, the, <laughs> use the smaller file. Not because I need twenty cents, but you know, yeah. So but it would definitely work. Yeah, yeah. So really, tools, all you need is something like a um, Dremel or a hacksaw to right, right. cut off whatever yeah. amount yep. you want. Yep. And then um, a little bit, of, a little saw for the scrap blocks of wood yep. and, yep. Uh, and, a, and a drill and a screwdriver. A screwdriver, so, yeah. yeah. And, and the hardware is like two screws and two nuts. Yeah. Uh, that, that's about it. The way I attached everything here is, is, is just uh, silicon glue just like the the legs on the bottom okay so i didn't drill any holes or yeah or do anything to the ceramic tile yeah. okay well thanks for bringing uh, uh your your uh, project along to share today dave's uh mm -hmm. dollar key yep so and thanks. it'll be michael's dollar Thank key you. after he <laughs> <laughs> once i get the when, once i once i get the, um onto that so uh thanks for stopping by uh, michael kb9 vbr and i'm dave kz9v have a great day in seven three if I had it to do all over again and roll the clock back two years, mm -hmm. I would not have gone the two paddle route in the okay. first place. Having a having a paddle is great because my my dots and dashes, the timing's all good. Mm -hmm. But it's much harder and a longer process learning the two paddle key than a one paddle key. And so I would say for the beginner, somebody that that, that doesn't really plan on going thirty words a minute, yeah, I'd. I would stay with that single pedal well, key. 